to Ella's Bible Lessons. This is the first lesson, Ella, for Ella's Bible Lessons. And Ella, how old are you? Four! Four years old! And this is your Bible Lessons. And today, we're going to show some of your artwork. Are you an artist? Yeah, we're surrounded by some of your artwork. What did you do with this? I painted it. Oh, that's so nice. What about this dinosaur? I painted that too. Yeah, we're surrounded. Look, we have my works of art. You're a little artist, aren't you? You know who else is an artist? What? God. Did yeah. you know God's an artist? What did, who made you? God. That's right. And what else did God make? All things. That's right. God made all things. You, should we look at some of God's artwork? Mm -hmm. Okay. What do we have here? All right. So we got some things that you picked. Can you show our friends that are watching some of God's artwork? They made zucchini. Zucchini. Flowers. Ooh. Acorns. Yeah. Leaves. Tomatoes. Peppers. So maybe at home you could think, what are some things that God made? Maybe you go outside. Maybe you want to take a picture of something that God made. And you could take a picture of it and you could send it to us. Would you like that, Ella? Mm -hmm. Would you like your friends to show you some pictures of things that God made? Mm -hmm. So, where do we learn that God made everything? What book? What do you think? Bible. That's right, in the Bible. And you know the very first book in the Bible is Genesis. It's in the very beginning. We don't go to the end. We don't go to the middle. We go to the very beginning. Mommy, I got you. <laughs> can you so, go back? In the Bible, in I Genesis chapter 1. Ella, can I show you Genesis chapter 1? Come on over. Look. <laughs> It says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. That's the very first um, part of the Bible. It says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And let's think of some things that God created. God created the sky. What else did he make? All things. All things. He made the sun. He made the moon, the stars. Did he make birds in the air? Yes. And did he make animals? Yes. Do you have a favorite animal? Turtles and grass. Turtles and giraffes. Do you have a favorite animal at home? What do you think? Turtles and giraffes and puppies and cats. And he made so many different things. And lions and little bugs. Do you like bugs? I know. You like worms, don't you? I just like to hold them and hold them and hold them and hold them. And hold them and hold them and hold them. And hold them and hold them and hold them. You really do. You love worms. So God made everything. But do you know... What is God's masterpiece? You know how sometimes you say, these are my masterpieces. What's God's masterpiece? Can you tell me? I'll give you a hint. I'm going to point at it. What's God's masterpiece? All things. God made all things, but his masterpiece, did you know, is you? It's people. God made all things, but his masterpiece is people. God made people in his own image. He loved them so much. He gave people creative creativity and knowledge and wisdom and the capacity to love God made people that's his masterpiece his work of art and you know what that means Ella what? can you come up here with me that means you are special and you have value and you at home you are created by God you are not an accident you are valuable you are loved by God. You are made in the image of God. You are God's masterpiece. More than the sun, the moon, the stars, anything that you could think of. You are a masterpiece and God loves you. You know how we sing, I am a child of God? You are a child of God. You are loved by God. So I want you to know, you are not an accident. God made all things. So today in Ella's Bible Lessons, who made all things? That's right. So thank you for joining Ella's Bible Lessons. Why don't you go outside and take a picture or show something that God made and give thanks to God for making it. All right, say bye, Ella. Bye.